Well, it's uh, early springtime here in my greenhouse, and uh, over the years I've been able to grow a lot of nice vegetables out here. But the one problem I've always had is growing things like lettuce. Now, if you look here, <laughs> this is lettuce. I think it's romaine. But as you can see, uh, you might be saying, well, that's, we don't have a problem with that. We, everything's going pretty good there. Well, that's because it's early spring, and in another month, or maybe if I'm lucky two months, I can't grow this anymore because it'll get too warm in here. Now, as you can see back here, I've got coolers along that side of the wall, and there's three of them. They're swamp coolers. This is a, dry, a fairly dry climate, uh, and uh, the swamp coolers do fairly well, but in the hot summer days, they don't do well enough to grow things like this in the summertime. So I have an idea on how to fix that. Let me show you what that is. Now before I show you my idea, I want to show you this, and I don't want to lose these crops. What I've got here is uh, some lettuce. I think this is, uh, oh I've forgotten the name of it, but you know it grows in kind of a ball and really looks nice. Now these are not going to make it because It'll take them at least a month to mature enough to where I can pick them. And then right about that time, it'll be getting hot in here. Now these are bok choy. And as you can see, these are very small yet. And bok choy, they bolt very easily. So I'm not going to be able to keep these growing very long at all unless I can cool these during the summer. And then, of course, I've got... Uh, a couple of more lettuce plants here. Now, as I told you before, I've got three, three coolers right here. And all three of these running in the summertime is not enough to uh, keep this place cool. But then I had an idea. Now, wait a minute. If I, if I just compartmentize this area off. Now, let me show you what I mean. This area is this set of grow beds. And maybe I'll go down, you know, as far as maybe this one, or, or not that far, even halfway. And if I, if what I do is I build some sort of a, a, a cover over this, so that if I run this cooler and this cooler only, running down through some kind of a tent that covers over these, it'll that'll probably be enough cooling capacity to keep this area maybe all the way down to here, maybe a little farther, but all the way down to maybe about here and keep that cool because one swamp cooler, you know, does a pretty good job. This is a very big area, but if I can isolate this area with something like a tent, like I said, and move this cooler over this way to basically blow all the air right down here and then maybe about here end the tent and let these get as hot as they hot, hot as the rest of the greenhouse and maybe that'll solve the problem because if I can grow lettuce all year round in this greenhouse or at least all summer long that'll be a great uh, move forward. So I'm going to start moving that over and I'll be building this and I'll give you some updates uh, and show you how this is how this is going. Okay so around the back side here of the greenhouse now you can see I've, I've got this cooler that I've got to remove and uh, I've got to move it over this way and uh, I've already removed the uh, panels off of it. It's still running right now because we need some a uh, little bit of air flow through there. But what this, what this involves is uh, moving these railroad ties over a little bit and uh, setting them down in here and then moving this whole assembly over here. And of course I've got to cut uh, a hole in here so that uh, the, the, the air vent lines up there pretty well. So we'll get that done and uh, put that in. Well, okay, got the job done. I moved that cooler over from here, you can see the hole there in the window, over to here. Now that seemed like a very simple job. 
But uh, digging and shoveling, you know, that, that can be a lot of work. And getting it all leveled properly and so forth. But anyway, there it is moved over. Now let's go inside and I'll show you. I can see how a difference this has already made. I mean, what I mean is it's this is going to work. Let me show you. Okay, so here we are inside the greenhouse and uh, let me show you how it looks and how it works from the inside. Just a minute, let me uh, pull the plug on that, making all that racket. Okay. Anyway, so you can see here, it's all properly mounted in here and ready to go. And I haven't removed this uh, shade cloth in here yet, but I, I think you can see by watching what this shade cloth does that this is going to work. So let me plug this one in. And here we go. Now, you now you see how that shade cloth is really blowing. I think this is going to work. And even this, if you look down here, these that are right up against it almost, these lettuce plants, you can see they're getting a little wind. And that means there's some kind of a wind action, but as you move further this way, the wind action actually increases as you can see by these uh, bok choy I have and then uh, these are some other plants I think these are uh, okra but I'll have to move them so here's another lettuce plant you can see by the way the wind is moving how we're getting some wind action here and even clear down here kind of in the middle it looks like we're getting a lot of wind action here and these are tomato plants and uh, I don't think they need all this wind action, but it just it uh, illustrates how well this is going to do. I may not even have to make a tunnel here like I was uh, talking about earlier. See, if you look way over here to the end, you can see there's a, a piece of plastic down there that's even waving, so it's getting some action. Now let's look down here and see if these are getting some. You can see there's they're not they're not wiggling a lot but they're wiggling some so there's some airflow hitting them and especially if you look at the strings see these strings hanging down here that shows that uh, they they are actually getting there's a lot of wind action working down here which to me means I may not have to use a tunnel at all here because I can feel on my face the, 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 the wind let me just get over here where I can be right in the middle of it. Let's see. I'll go down here. Yep, right here. Right here I can feel wind on my face. And it's going to be coming out of that cooler. And that'll be a, a swamp cooler with, you know, water cooled. So this will be a cool breeze. So this might just work.